Good morning guys. Uh, it's been about a week since the last video and uh, wow what a week it's been. Been um, well I don't need to tell you about the coronavirus but it's been one of those weeks that you just wish you'd sort of forget. So yeah it's been about a week on the farm since we last come down. We uh, what's been going on so as we all know, the coronavirus has taken over the world and uh, we just want to say we hope everyone's well and we hope everyone's taking care of themselves. It's a bit of a weird time and together we'll all get through it, but um, here at the farm we can't stop. We've got plants to seed and still nothing in the ground. It's still, as you can see by the yard, it's still wet. Uh, they have managed to get some spraying done, so that's at least uh, a good point, I suppose. So uh, we're looking at about another 10 days of dry for it to be capable of going. So, but that's um, that's what they've been doing this week. We had a little bit of rain yesterday, which uh, that stopped things. So they managed to get some workshop stuff done. Uh, they've cleaned out this shed here. This shed's been cleaned out. Keithy done that. Uh, the far shed's been cleaned out. That was cleaned out the week before. And um, yeah, so we've got a tornado. Oh. Hey Nado, I love them. While this coronavirus is taking over, we um, we can't stop. We can't stop and isolate or anything like that. We uh, we got to keep going. Strange times, strange times, but I think it'll all pan out in the end. We just got to keep cracking on and just getting through what we can. Uh, it's probably more important that we get planted now more than ever, really. And I think we will. Um, the farmer said he, he's driven over most of the fields with his sprayer, so and he does reckon they will go in about 10 days to two weeks. So that's what's been going on there. I think today we're going to uh, tag a few calves and put them. So we've got some new... Ah, oh, Lynn's here. Lynn. Hey ladies here. Where's your seatbelt? Yeah, I'm just going to put on. <laughs> All right. We've got to load Lynn up with some hay. We'll, uh, we're going to tag some cows. I'm not going to tag cows. Cows are tagged. We're going to uh, tag some of the newborns and put them in the other shed with the others and we're going to load up Lynn first Test of approval. Will it get the thumbs up? Is it any good? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if she gives you the thumbs down, you got to change it. She won't take any crap a out. Okay. Just going to show you. Some of the first born calves that were uh, born first, and you can see, oh, this one was born in the summer. You can see how big she is, she's massive. But these young ones, these are the first borns. There's a little gray one, the gray one's really nice. Ooh. But they're all growing, they grow like crazy. It doesn't take them long. When they're young, you can grab hold of them and hold them in place. But you try grabbing onto one of these now, you wouldn't be able to do it. They'll drag you around the, drag you around the pen. But they're all coming on pretty well. Good bunch. Now we're going to do some tagging. We're going to go and find, um, go and find Andrew and the farmer. We're going to do some tagging and. Uh, 
we'll show you how we do that. Three nineteen Andrew. That was only four last night, but it's happy, it should be alright, shouldn't it? We gotta stop talking about him now, that boy. Yeah. Now he's here. Oh, what were you saying mate? Can't say. Where you're putting that egg just for me? Just between the veins, look, Matt. Yep. Yeah. Crunch. It has to be between Job those done. veins. Yeah, you don't want it on the veins. And then that, that's uh, what we end up with. What is that? Test and tag. And they will test that to see if he's got BVD. What's what BVD again? That's bovine. Viral diarrhea. Um, with the immune system. Oh. We do have all sorts of problems from it mate. Yeah. It will cause you some grief. Right. She was mental difficult carver. And it's like she was trying to prolapse before she'd had the calf. And we got the calf out Matt, but I can see she's not quite right. That is just cleansing this hair. But we, we've obviously pulled her about getting the calf out. We did, it was pretty difficult. But you can see in her face, can't you, with the ears back? It's just something that's not quite right about it, mate. Um, so you want to bring her in here, you can keep a closer eye on her. Yeah. And if she needs something, you ain't got to get her. Room. Andrew just put that in, that'll be. Uh, a bit of magnesium. Yeah. I don't think it's that. I'm wondering if she's got a bit of infection because we were messing about for probably an hour and a half and it wasn't very easy. So whether we just got a bit of dirt, you know, it could be something as simple as that. We'll um, what we we'll do, I'll give it just give me ten minutes to get this finished. We we'll take her temperature. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. Right. If she's running the temperature we'll give her some antibiotic. Yeah. If she's not I might even get the vet to her later on and just let see what her take on it is. The other thing we could do is um, when they just lay a bit like that, sometimes it's calcium. Okay, yeah. And I might just give her a bottle of calcium under the skin yeah. and uh, we'll do it before she goes down. But her eyes are not quite, you can see her eyes, she's, yeah, just, she's dry, good. she's a bit, just set back a bit. And also, <laughs> last night she was going to have me out the shed. Today I can stand by her and that's a sure sign she ain't well because yeah. she would have had your arse over red last night. Yeah. <clears throat> but the car seems alright, doesn't it? The car's good and we, we will get her right. We will get her right. Even if we have the vet to her, we will get her back on her feet. Sweet. So we'll come back to her later and we'll show you what what's next for her. Yeah. yeah she's gone, she was better than that this morning, mate, wasn't she? When I know. Everything down. hanging out there is just cleansing. No, it's just quite normal. There's, there's no great shape to that, mate. Do you get milk fever with beef cattle? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, not very often. We don't get it very often because no. we're a bit on top of it. Putting those mag flakes in, I'll. Yeah. Um, all right. What are we doing? Come to taste. Do you like to taste me? Any steers to do? No.
through the gristle and then that they were inside that what it does it it puts a it chops a bit of there it, the bit of here goes straight into the bottom there Matt into the test tube and then it puts the seal is that piece on the tag yeah seals the top of that oh I see yeah do you see what I mean yeah it seals it as well yeah so it's all sealed for a start you can see the plastic and then that just goes on and it actually just puts a piece of there in into that into the test tube and they will test that piece of skin so you have to send that away yeah <clears throat> yeah and we've been doing it for what month we've been doing it for probably i don't know six yeah. years now probably man come on girl. come on please come on come on come on did you ever have any issues come back with that bvd no we had massive issues with it. We bought some we bought some cows off of a guy ten years ago, Matt. And we had massive problems. Horrendous problems. Yeah. Uh, it's what made us go on to breeding our own stock, keeping our own replacements. Um, so you try not to bring anything in. The only, for that we, the only thing we buy in is a bull. Um, but only for that, that is the sole reason. Yeah. That is the sole reason. And I won't lend a bull to anybody. I had one or two locals wanted to sort of lend a bull and stuff like this, which I never do. And they all got the pip at the time, but once they realised I wasn't going to do it, it soon died a death, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, you've got to look after your own at the end of the day, haven't you? One more, is there? You can get rid of it. It's what, not, it's what not are the symptoms of BVD? Right. It, it, there's mental symptoms. The, the main symptoms would be a bit like the virus. It's uh, pneumonia in calves. And you oh, think right. they've got pneumonia. That would be the start of it. We had it manifest itself in cows' feet. So we, we had, would have bad feet. It would look like um, dermatitis. Yeah. But it wasn't. Um, it was just a mental issue. We, we were at it every day. 8, 10, 12 animals every day, couldn't get on top of it. Um, we changed that, that the bloke, okay mate? Right girl, is this mum here? Yeah. Um, all the males get, get ringed? Yeah. See that? It's a good catch. The speed of those hands, but. <laughs> hey. <Yeah. laughs> right, Matty. Yeah. Oh, Pop him out. Right, so you get Butler. <laughs> <laughs> and we pop it on him. And let he the ring it, off. He? <laughs> and his face will go. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to sit in the corner for 10 minutes. Exactly <laughs> that. In amongst carving and all the rest of the other jobs we got going on. We also have lorries coming in that have to be loaded, so farmers just loading a lorry. We got to load uh, the uh, hay truck, she wants five packs on there. And then uh, we're going to do a hay delivery. So lots to do. Little Andrew's taking a tractor up to one of the other yards. Uh, I'm not sure what Keith's doing. I haven't seen him.
Oh, a bit of Timothy there, look. Is that Timothy? Yeah. There you go, look, Timothy. <coughs> Check out our Timothy video then. It's gone wild. Oh, that's it. 100,000 views. Cheers. Yep. Check out the Timothy video if you're interested. I'll put a link up in the top right hand side. Lynn, can you put that on the thing? Now these aren't Timothy bales, but there's just a little bit of Timothy in them. Hang on, I'm not ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, before we set off, have you got your seatbelt on? Right. You always wear your seatbelt. <laughs> So uh, we're back from the um, back from the delivery. The vet's here now to have a look at that cow. So uh, we won't go in and bug her. What we'll do is um, after she's had a look and done what she needs to do, we'll get a um, we'll get an update off the farmer and see how she's doing. She just uh, she ain't quite right, he said. So they just want to check her over. We got another delivery to make. We got another two hay, two packs hay, and one pack of straw to do. Andrew's gonna load us. Keithy is working on his drill. They got a few adjustments to make to that. We'll have a look at that on the next video. On the next video, we'll, um, they've taken the drill off and they're uh, uh, just changing some bits over. When you get a new, whenever you get anything new, every time there's always little adjustments you want to make to make it fit for what you need so that's what they've been doing with that for the last two days the big tires are on it and we'll um we'll show you that on the next video all right someone has made a mistake we'll put the wrong straw on so now we've got to take it off and put the right straw on i'm blaming andrew andrew's blaming me i definitely think it's andrew's fault We finally fixed the electrics for the trailer. We're just gonna, we'll take a teleport around, see if they work, make sure they work. <sighs> finally, it's only been two weeks since I pulled them off. Yes. 
So the vet came, didn't she? Yep. What, what did the vet say when she came? She thought it was calcium. Could could be internal bleeding, but she didn't think so. She had a she had a feeling. Yeah. Didn't think it was. Um, but that's what it is. What right, mate, what we do, we will get her out because yep. I've got no cows in here. Did you go and open the shed, mate? Yep. <clears throat> right, well, that's just a terrible end to the day, that. They thought she had a uh, calcium fever, so they, uh, they the uh, vet came and they treated her for um, calcium. They injected calcium straight into the vein and uh, she hasn't recovered, she, uh, she's, she's died. That's my first real experience, uh, seeing uh, something die like that. That's uh, it's quite shocking really, but it is the, the life of the farmer. But the thing is now she had a calf, so now that calf's got to be fed. Uh, so now the farmer will have to feed the calf and uh, that's just, well that's a shame and uh, I didn't really want to end a video like that but we've got to feed the calf now and uh, we'll talk to the farmer a bit and see what he says about it but I feel pretty sad right happens mate, you can't change that I had a nasty feeling when we were carving that calf yesterday that it was not going to end good I said to young Android, I don't think this is going to end good. And when we got a live cow and a live calf, I thought, fucking hell, that ain't as bad as I thought. And, but when I was here this morning, and I'll tell you the truth, she, when I came down at six o'clock, she was as good as gold. Yeah. And at nine o'clock, when I looked at her, when we were in here, I thought, hmm, you've gone down your bloody fast gal. And you just know that, you know, that's why I had the vet straight away. Yeah. Because some wasn't quite right. This girl here, this 347, mate, let's yeah. just tickle her in. That's that one that had a dead car. No, I don't think she's got any milk. It's well done. But I thought it was worth just tickling her in. 